Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. We're gonna talk about the Power Rangers. We're gonna talk about how Hasbro doesn't know what the hell it's doing with the Power Rangers and they're canceling the Netflix reboot. This is probably a mercy killing because Hasbro hasn't known what to do with the Power Rangers since it bought the Power Rangers. I think they stupidly thought if they bought the Power Rangers, they can make a bunch of toys and they make a bunch of money because they're Transformers adjacent, but that's not really working out very well for them because they're actually outsourcing all of the Power Rangers toys to Playmates, which makes no damn sense. Uh, and Hasbro's not in a very good place uh, financially right now. They've had their ups and downs. In fact, their stock dropped again a little bit today. And I don't think they're really interested in making toys. I don't think they're really interested in the Power Rangers brand as much as as uh, they are some other brands like D&D because they're trying to turn that into like a shitty mobile app. <laughs> but uh, Transformers, that's one of their core products, you know. But uh, they did announce a Power Rangers video game, a multiplayer 16-bit style video game, which actually looks pretty good. But yeah, I just don't, I don't think they know what to do with Power Rangers. And it was a disaster last time when they tried to create a series whole cloth without basing it on the Super Sentai series. And the costumes were terrible. They were very bland. I can't imagine they sold very many toys if they made toys for those. I don't know if they did. I didn't see them. Mostly I see Mighty Morphin Power Rangers toys and like different era, uh, different eras of like the Saban Power Rangers, early stuff. Uh, those are the things that sell. The Boom Studios comics are based on the first couple of series of Power Rangers. And those sell very well, but everything after that, a lot of it's forgettable. And right now I'm going to get all these Power Rangers fans are going to jump in the comments and, you know, lecture me on it, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, it, nothing has had the cultural impact of those those first couple of series. So let's talk about this. Another another one down, another one canceled. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, check this out. This has come from Games Radar. Uh, Netflix scraps another series as its Power Rangers show is canceled. But Hasbro hopes it can live again. Now, they just canceled Dungeons & Dragons, too. So Hasbro is canceling all kinds of shows. Uh, Netflix has scrapped the planned Power Rangers series, but there's still hope it could survive someplace else. Uh, according to Twitter, and confirmed by TV Line, the live-action show won't be going any further at Netflix, but Hasbro is said to be seeking a fresh creative direction and a new partner for the series. Again, this is the exact same thing they said about the Dungeons and Dragons show. They were going to put a Dungeons and Dragons live action series on Paramount Plus and Paramount is a dumpster fire right now. We don't even know if they're going to merge with Skydance or what's going on. It looks like they're not going to. But uh, yeah, creative differences, guys. Netflix's version would have had Jenny Klein as the showrunner. Oh my God, this is, they definitely dodged a bullet. Klein was an executive producer on The Witcher and Daisy and the Six. I have no idea what that is as well as an executive story editor on Supernatural. Uh, Klein would have been working with, I am not okay with this co-creator. God, that's awkward. Klein would have been working with, I am not okay with this co-creator, Jonathan Entwistle, who in 2020 was set to oversee new Power Rangers TV and film projects. Is that the guy who said that they, and again, I'm not like a super huge Power Rangers fan compared to other, other franchises. I mean, I like Power Rangers. I love the Super Sentai. But I think he was the guy who was saying that, like, they needed to detach themselves from, from the Japanese origins of, of Power Rangers. Uh, Netflix is no stranger to Power Rangers either. The streamer released the movie Mighty Morphin Power Rangers once and always last year to mark Mighty Morphin's 30th anniversary. It's unclear at the moment where the Power Rangers series could end up if Hasbro are successful in finding a new home. Or if the creative team would remain the same if the series does live on, it's also currently unclear why the show was scrapped at Netflix. It was probably dog shit. Or Netflix didn't want to uh, pay anything for these toy commercials. I, I you know, th this is the thing. A lot of these shows, including um, you know, Masters of the Universe, including uh, you know, some of these other like toy or video game related franchises, they're co-productions. Netflix kicks in some money. But it's up to the owner of the IP to, I, I think, pull the lion's share of the uh, the financing. So it might have been that one Hasbro doesn't want to spend the money because they don't have it right now. I mean, they're laying people off. They're selling selling everything that's not nailed down. 
uh, th there's been a rumor that they were actually going to sell D&D. I don't know if they will at this point because, again, they're going to try to turn D&D into a, a shitty mobile app. <laughs> you know, cash out that way. But, but uh, yeah, they're not doing too well financially. And uh, they're even outsourcing Power Rangers to Playmates, which was at one point in time their sworn enemy. But just like two months ago, they said they're going to to outsource all of their Power Rangers toys to Playmates. So yeah, I don't think they think this brand, uh, at least in its current incarnation, is going to make them money. I think they're like, yeah, we'll let Playmates take the risk. Uh, as for Netflix, the streamer has quite a busy year ahead. They have Cobra Kai, Bridgerton, Squid Game. Yeah, I mean, why do they need Power Rangers? You know, I don't know how the last Power Rangers show did, and it might be that it didn't do very well, and that's why they're not going to uh, commit to it. I have no idea. But there's a lot of criticism around Cosmic Fury. I did not watch Cosmic Fury, but I saw the costumes. I'm like, man, these are ass. These aren't even in the same league as the Super Sentai costumes. Even a bad Super Sentai series has better costumes than these, and these were the, uh, the costumes that were created whole cloth. So yeah, they said the next show is going to have to address one major criticism of Cosmic Fury, especially if it's not a Super Sentai adaptation, but instead a fresh start for the franchise. Um, and the, it's the costumes. They said Power Rangers next show will have to solve Cosmic Fury's costume criticism. Uh, next Power Rangers TV show, assuming it will not be a direct Super Sentai adaptation, but instead something similar to what Cosmic Fury did, will have to nail the costumes following the criticism aimed at the franchise's latest show. Cosmic Fury was a very different Power Rangers season for many reasons, including but not limited to the shorter amount of episodes and the lack of filler. The biggest difference between Cosmic Fury and previous Power Rangers seasons was the lack of Super Sentai footage, which was limited to the Zord battles in the 2023 show. Yeah, actually, the costumes for this show were pretty good. Uh, the one that was based on, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Although I do, I do like an Orange Ranger every once in a while, right? But uh, yeah, these were, these were lame. They're very lame costumes. They were trying to do like Marvel style superhero costumes, but these are like the most generic westernized, you know, costumes, and people freaking hated it. They did. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they said, well, Cosmic Fury borrowed some elements and footage from uh, Sentai uh, Q Ranger, Uchu Sentai. I'm probably mangling this. Uh, Uchu Sentai uh, Kaiyu Ranger such as the cosmic orbs and everything concerning the Zords and the Megazords. Dino Fury was mostly an original series with lots of American footage. For the first time since the inception of the franchise, most of the action sequences of a Power Rangers season came from original American footage rather than from repurposed Super Sentai scenes. That was a huge problem. You know, that was a huge problem for them. And I think they thought, well, if we do it this way, people are going to buy it because it's Power Rangers and we can make toys of it and people are going to buy this stuff. And they did not buy it. They didn't buy it. And uh, I thought this is kind of interesting, though. I'll kind of wrap it up with this. Uh, apparently, in Japan, they're getting kind of tired of the Super Sentai trope, too. They have an anime out called Go Go Loser Ranger that's an anti-Power Rangers show. I have to watch this. This actually looks pretty damn funny. Uh, they're, I guess they're making fun of all the tropes of the Super Sentai shows and uh, the Power Rangers shows. But uh, Go, Go, Go Go Loser Ranger. So there we go, guys. It, it looks like Hasbro might be the big losers uh, in this case. And I think what they'll probably do, Playmates will probably just double down on Mighty Morphin stuff because it always sells to collectors. But I don't know how kids are going to react to it. You know, I think I think a lot of these franchises are like years past their expiration date. And they just kind of keep going back to the same collectors, which is fine i guess but like they go out it's like they want the money from the collectors right but they also want to attack them or change it up change up the formula you know they want our money for the 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 vintage star wars stuff to bankroll the new star wars stuff that the collectors don't care about and the kids don't care about either and uh, kids today just don't care about power rangers you know they, they they really don't um it kind of peaked i think with uh you know obviously back in the day but then again with disney and then after that just it kind of fell off a cliff Except for the Boom Books. Boom Books, I heard, are pretty good. I'll have to check them out. But there we go, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe. We'll talk later.